Hi, I'm meteorologist well, Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and ski conditions. And we got to start with Alta Snowbird and the Little Cottonwood Canyon first. I mean, talk about a uh, an overperformance on the numbers. I mean, this was a really incredible. 27 inches is what they're reporting in 24 hours. And an incredible storm total over the last four or five days of over 50 inches. But you can see the live camera. There's nobody there because the entire canyon's closed. They've had so much snow and they're trying to mitigate this. Looking at my notes. Uh, this was a clean northwest flow pattern. So what we're doing is wringing out moisture, perfect wind direction for Little Cottonwood Canyon, right out of the northwest, a clean flow into the canyon. Um, and this is sometimes what we refer to as an over-delivering um, on the northwest flow. And we can see that in parts of Colorado from time to time and then up in Wyoming as well on the northwest flow. Uh, in Colorado, let's get to um, the uh, steamboat cam. This is the... Uh, the snow state cam from the last 24 hours. Notice they picked up, they're reporting seven inches at Steamboat. I think it'll get a little bit up there today um, and then a little bit on Friday and then more so probably during the day on Saturday, making Sunday a choice day for the uh, for the Steamboat area. So let's get into the, uh, the analysis here. All right, so here is radar and satellite. And what we're essentially doing here on radar satellite is wringing out the moisture on a northwest flow. That's how we saw that overperformance of numbers in snow in the uh, in the little cottonwood area on this northwest flow. So once this transitions out, it'll be drier on Thursday, waiting on the next storm, which is out over the Pacific. Now let me show you that. You can see it here on the satellite in particular. This is the storm right here. You can see the comma shape. That's the low pressure that will be the primary storm driver for the weekend. It will hit the Pacific Northwest first and then move into the interior after that. So Friday, Saturday, you can see it in the jet. There's our Northwest orientation on the jet. By the time we get, there's a transition. By the time we get into Friday, Saturday, here comes the dip in the jet. There's your area of low pressure moving in. This is Saturday at 5 a.m. There's your low pressure already cranking out snow on that powerful orographic flow through the Wasatch, the Tetons, and sort of waiting on it in Colorado. There'll be a little bit of snow on Friday, but really I think it's during the day Saturday when Colorado picks up most of the snow, making Sunday the prime day for Colorado for powder. But that would come, that storm system would affect the Intermountain West right here. Let me show you on the, uh, the future radar, so snow is blue. And watch it begins to deteriorate or dry up, if you will, across the Intermountain region between now and Thursday morning. Some leftover snow, though, in Colorado on Thursday morning. What we're waiting on is that Pacific storm, and here it comes into the Pacific Northwest. You can see it, boom, and all that snow blows into the interior, and that's what we're looking for. Good snow on Friday, Friday afternoon, Friday night into Saturday morning through the Wasatch, the Tetons through Idaho, through western and southwest Montana, and of course the Pacific Northwest, those numbers are all going to be uh, on their way up. Now it's going to take a little bit of time. It'll throw a couple of initial lobes into Colorado, but the real snow will wait until during the day on Saturday to affect uh, Colorado. So here it is, Saturday morning again, waiting on it in Colorado, but still snowing on the arc uh, back from the, uh, the Tetons down into the Wasatch, and of course it is snowing up in the Pacific Northwest, down to about Tahoe at that point, but I don't think we're going to see anything past that. Unfortunately, with this storm track, it's too far to the north, the jet, and so we're not going to see much of an influence down past Tahoe in the Mammoth, not this time around. It's just not the right flow pattern. So between Saturday and Sunday, here we go, it did snow in Colorado, so we're still seeing some leftover snow on a Sunday morning. That's the time to hit that along I-70 and north. And then it's all about the next storm. The Pacific Northwest is getting that on Sunday morning. Here's a little bonus for you. It'll go from Sunday to Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, Monday morning. You can see what happens here across the west on the future radar. Not a lot. There's a little bit of a, a tiny northwest flow component, but it's nothing. Really, it's all the Pacific Northwest getting that snowfall into Monday morning. All right, so what about snow amounts? Let's take a look at those, and what we'll do is I'll look all the way into Saturday so we can see these numbers. But between today and Thursday, if you're going to be skiing on Thursday, you can probably find a little bit of additional snow in Colorado, maybe right on top of the Continental Divide up there at Loveland to uh, Winter Park, uh, A Basin, if you want to do that. But otherwise, we're really just waiting on some bigger snows. Now, different story here. Once we get into Friday, the numbers really start to accelerate in the Intermountain West, so we'll push this ahead. Notice what happens. Numbers start to go up into Friday morning. Look at the Pacific Northwest. If you're skiing on Friday, I would aim for the, 
for you know Whistler or Baker down to the pass levels, uh, Timberline and Bachelor, Sun Valley, Schweitzer, Revelstoke, Big Sky. Now between Friday and Saturday, watch the numbers go up at Jackson Hole, Alta, Snowbird, and there they go. We're at one to two foot ranges at that point. So those are the places to hit Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, down to Alta Snowbird on Saturday morning. Now, and then it's Colorado's turn, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, into Sunday morning. Sunday is when you'll want to hit a lot of those places in Colorado, Aspen, Snowmass, Vail, uh, up towards uh, Loveland and Winter Park, Steamboat on Sunday. So enjoy that. We've got a powder weekend ahead for a lot of different places. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Have a great day.